those accusations arose. To Kenosha now, where a newly surfaced dash cam video is raising all sorts of questions about how one officer used his taser. Fox 6's Ben Handelman has the tape and spoke with the man who was on the receiving end of the electric bolts. It's a call of a fight in Kenosha, sending an officer racing to the scene, but what he does next has some asking if he went too far. Just 15 seconds after getting out of his car, he pulls out a taser, causing his suspect to fall flat on his back. Duh. That man is 32 year old Keenan Smith. Four months later, we show him the dash cam video for the first time. I didn't even know they had sold up. Man. Smith says he did not have time to react. Adding to the controversial use of force, this Kenosha Police Department supplementary report. In the officer's report, who we are not naming at this time, he writes he saw the subjects in boxer stances hitting each other with fists and wrote the subject turned, looked at me, and squared up to me. I believe this subject was going to fight me as well. I don't even fight him, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even come at him, you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to talk to him. Smith also says he had no idea a local attorney has filed a complaint with Kenosha's Police and Fire Commission. Nobody has filed a complaint with me at all. Kenosha Police Chief John Morrissey says he hadn't heard about the incident until that lawyer asked for the tape in October. This week, he launched an internal investigation asking two of his department's taser instructors to review the video. Was it within policy? Was it not in policy? Was it excessive? Was it proper? That kind of stuff. The commission will review the tape Tuesday. For Smith, it's a night he was trying to put behind him. <laughs> I did, you know, so I tried to, you know, until y'all brought me back up. <laughs> but is happy the case is being reviewed. The attorney who has filed the complaint at one point represented the other man in that tape. Smith did admit he was fighting that night and pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct, but he did not believe he should have been tasered. The officer remains on duty. Guys? All right, Ben, thanks. Well, as we told you earlier, four Milwaukee police officers.